In 1997, the winner of the Apple Valley Middle School Readathon mysteriously disappeared without a trace. The town spent tens of dollars trying to find him, but it was no use. The case went cold. I'm Douglas Duquesne, and I've spent the last 20 years trying to track down Chuck Jameson. Was he kidnapped? Was he brutally murdered in cold blood? Or is he just shy? Join me as I find out. Chuck was the only student who ever followed the no talking in the library rule. He was like a son to me. I'd never seen so much blood at a crime scene. Oh, oh, never mind. Sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong case. The Chuck Jameson case? Okay, yes. That one was very boring. Uh, yeah, Chuck's gone. Uh, don't go looking for him. It's gonna be a big waste of your time. Don't stop. To find Chuck, I needed more information, so I sat down with one of his best friends, a fellow named Jason. Tell me about this man of mystery named Chuck. Who? Your best friend from middle school who's been missing for decades? The guy whom I told you about over the phone when I was setting up this interview. Oh, you mean Chuck. Yes. Don't remember him. Uh. But I didn't give up that easily. Oh, no. Finally, I found someone who remembered Chuck, an old flame of his named Ladasha. Oh yeah, I remember Chuck. Sort of. You and he were pretty hot and heavy, weren't you? Uh, no. We were 11 years old when we knew each other. Was there another man that might have wanted Chuck dead so he could have you all to himself? Like I said, we were 11. I remember that age well. Overflowing with passion and rage and unbridled enthusiasm. Is this for real, or am I being punked right now? The information was proving itself hard to come by. But then I had an idea. I typed, where is Chuck Jameson, into Bing, and found a gold mine. His mother's address. Oh my gosh, so good to meet you. Chuck never brings his friends over. How does it feel to know that your son Chuck lived a double life while harboring a dark and mysterious past? The only mysterious thing to me is how he can stay inside for so long without going out and getting some sunlight. I keep telling him, son, you're gonna get a vitamin D deficiency, but he won't listen. What ominous secrets did your son hide from you that would make for a good Netflix documentary? Well, I always found it strange that he would stay up at all hours of the night to text his girlfriend on Tic Tac or whatever. Something about the time difference. She lives in Japan, apparently. Japan, you say? Oh crap, it's this guy again? Oh, hi Chuck. Did you want to speak to Chuck? There is no time. I have to get to Japan immediately. Oh, there he goes. Okay, that was weird. Mm -hmm. 